Today we've got a Moira Louis Vuitton designer acrylic set for you and oh, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I saw these stickers, they arrived in the post and I thought I want to do a set. I really do. Before the spring comes in and the summer colours and everything, I want to use these beautiful brands. And when it comes to brands, my favourite, favourite is Moira. I love it. And this one here is amazing. However, for all that is holy, I'm afraid I cannot think what it's called. It just escapes me. I know it begins with T. Do you ever get something in your head and you think, that's not right, that's not right. I've got teenage in my head and I know damn well that's not right because that's a red. That's a ready brand. This begins with T. I will put it below. I'm rubbish. I know. I'm sorry, guys. So what I do here is paint it on nice and thick. Thin, just a little bit more on there. I just want to get that coverage opaque, but I'm just wiping it down, and it gives absolutely fantastic coverage. I don't have to build layer after layer. I don't have to keep going in with loads of beads. Look how thin that is. That's how thin I'm working with Moira. That's how pigmented these shades are. They come in two different sizes now, a big pot and a small pot. I've still got lots and lots of small pots, but I have started to buy the bigger ones if I do need to replacement, replace them. However, seriously, a little goes such a long way you would not believe. I'm coming in on the pointer now with the extension cover powder, which is their cover powder exactly what it says on the tin sorry for any confusion and i'm just going to do a color block so what i'm going to do is just go across with my brush and neaten it up pat that into place keep those sides in waiting for it to set up a little bit then what i'm going to do is come in with a little bit of fishing wire slice pull look at smooth clean that is i'm loving it so i'm gonna leave that to set up properly now while i go in on the middle finger here i know what this one's called yay for me it's called peace and it is a lovely beautiful matte brown and this matches the v louis vuitton stickers that i got today they came in the brown and the black and it matches beautifully so i do exactly the same paint that on then i'm going to come in on the ring finger and i'm going to do what am i doing here ah i know i do the extension powder at the cuticle area of this um, nail and then i'm going to do a marble at the top so i'm just going to lay it around the cuticle nice and neat and then just blend tell you what i've done this voiceover i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest with you guys i've done this voiceover like three or four times and i'm not going to do it again i just can't talk i just can't get my words out i don't know what's up with me so i am going to do a marble at the top here and i'm coming with exit which is a glittery black i'm coming in with peace clear Rock and Roll, which is a glitter gold, and Tinkerbell, which is the girl around the little finger. Oh yeah, I remembered. Or I cheated and I went searching. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. We're going to be honest on this channel. Anyway, so I use those colours in the marble. Are they coming with a little bit of Rock and Roll just here where these two meet? And I just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle my brush use just a little bit and place it exactly where i want it again i put a small bead on the tip of my brush and it's still too much these are seriously pigmented guys really really are even the glitters jam-packed beautiful beautiful acrylics Uh, once I'm happy with that, I'm then going to come in with Exit and 
finish off this block nail on the pointer then I will again paint that on nice and thin being really careful up to that line because it's black need I say any more um, then what will I do I will then clean off my brush I will clear cap all the uh, nails file and buff off camera Once I'm happy with that, I will go over the surface of all these nails with some acetone. That will then smooth that off. And then we're going to come in with these stickers. So the first one I'm going to use is this holographic gold line. Fancy pants striping tape, as Tracy calls it. And what I will do is place that on this colour block. Pat it down, trim it off. And then just secure that into place before coming in with the next which is the Louis Vuitton gold sticker here it is so I'm just going to place that on the tip area where that exit which is the black glitter Moira shade it's not in your face glitter it's like a shimmery glitter it's absolutely gorgeous so I'm just going to pop that on there again, put it where I want it very gently. And before I press it down and make sure it's exactly where I want it, I'm using my tweezers all the time. Then I come in with those lovely brown stickers, exactly the same, all Louis Vuitton. I'll peel it off, putting them exactly where I want them on all the nails, using my tweezers lightly put it in place and then press it and secure it with my finger and i do that on all the nails with all the stickers so i come in with another little one at the tip area on the middle and then there's a strip that says louis vuitton in brown writing and i put that on the little finger guys this is all in real time none of this video is sped up today so like i said i will apply that strip on there pat it into place once i'm perfectly happy and then we're going to do some gems look at that so that's them all placed on that filed acrylic coming in with stick it from ugly duckling i am going to do a gold bar on each side of louis vuitton's name and a cuff at the cuticle area on this little finger so i'm just going to put a really small amount exactly where i want those gems to go So after applying the jewellery gel with the uh, swab stick, I will then come in with a old gel brush. Those of you who watch my channel will know how I do this. I smooth out the edges. It's got a little bit of gel cleanse on so that when I put the top coat on, um, I don't get any ridges. Now, I'm going to top coat over these charms. Now, honestly, I didn't know whether to top coat under them or over them or I really wasn't sure. So, I'm not sure. I don't see a lot of people actually putting them on. So, I was going to top coat under them. Then I thought, well, for a little bit of extra security, I'll top coat over them. Um, so, I double top coated because it's, uh, it's nail art. And as like I said, those of you who do watch my channel, I do like to double top coat. So I put a, a layer of top coat on, do it for half the amount, then put a second and then give it a full cure. But like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to top coat underneath these charms or to do it over it. So I thought I'd, I'll do it over it and see what happens. Because I'll tell you what I was looking for. I was looking to see if any of the coloured comes off, you know, like the 
gold that's actually coated around these charms these metal bits I wasn't sure if that would actually come off in the top coat and it didn't so honestly I think in this instant with these particular ones it really doesn't matter anyway I nudged that into place where I want it and then I come in with a gem at the top where them two bars meet again until this goes into the um, lamp I can keep moving these bars and charms and gems and everything else until I fully cure it and fully set it into place so I just keep nudging that till I'm perfectly happy now I'm going to go over to the pointer finger and I'm going to put a triangle charm here so I'm going to put a little extra of the jewelry gel here because I want it to sink into it because I don't want the corners sticking out coming with that brush again smooth out those edges then bring in the charm once I am completely happy with where they are set I'm just going to push that in with that metal bar just push it into that jewelry gel a little bit of pressure just a little bit then what happens is the jewelry gel will come up round the sides and uh, encase those corners of that triangle. Then I'm going to come in with the top coat and I will top coat all of these fingers. Then guys, that's the end of the video. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this little video today. If you have, please take a moment and hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. Everything used today will be listed below. And if you've got any questions or comments, please pop them below. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Until next time, bye!